Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are doing good. Our favorite club has registered a very comfortable victory away from home to take themselves to the top of the table. And in this video, we will do the post-match analysis of Real Madrid versus Cadiz. We'll talk about the performance of the team as Zidane and co. easily dispatched the opposition. So let's get started. Let's start by having a look at the lineup as we had predicted. We reverted to the back three of Militao, Varane and Nacho. We had Marcelo and Andrea Zola as the wing back. And in the midfield, we saw Casemiro was accompanied by Antonio Blanco. The attack consisted of the two Brazilian boys on either flanks, and in the middle, we had Karim Benzema. Now, before doing the analysis, let's quickly do the shout out. Only one of you was able to guess the correct prediction. Mr. Muscat predicted 3 0 in favor of Madrid, and I congratulate you for the correct prediction. Anyways, if we talk about the lineup, obviously we reverted to the back three with wing backs on either side, and you could understand why Zidane tried that. In the previous match against Getafe, Zidane had fielded four attackers, but it was quite evident that Real Madrid were getting run over in the midfield. But this system against Cadiz ensured that we had the numerical advantage in the middle of the park. The two wingbacks, Andre Zola and Marcelo, these two used to go forward from time to time to join the attack, and to tell the truth, both Marcelo and Andre Zola look more comfortable going forward than defending in one-on-one -on -one situations. Andre Zola got the second goal of the night, Marcelo as well, he was heavily involved in the attacking third. Many times he also tried to attack through the centre, doing a of link-up play with the rest of the midfielders. And yes, his passing was a bit off at times, he had a passing accuracy of 67%, but he was constantly showing the willingness to go forward, he was pushing his teammates to make those forward runs, and he did put in some good crosses as well. But talking about the man who caught the eye of many Madridistas, it was the man who got his first start on the senior side, yes, I'm talking about Antonio Blanco. He was playing as a central midfielder, and I have to say, he showed a very mature performance in his first start. He didn't look unfazed, he was cool as a Cucumber, he made some good forward looking passes. I remember early in the match he had found Marcelo on the left flank with a very good cross field pass and he had a very efficient performance. He brought a lot of energy in the middle and credit to him he didn't show any signs of nerves. It didn't look like he was overwhelmed by the fact that he was making his dream start and it was good to see the youngster perform in that manner. Yeah, I would also like to know from you all what were your thoughts on the performance of Antonio Blanco. But moving on, if we talk about the first half, we can say that the first half Half was the half where all the action happened. Now we did see Vinicius Jr. He was a constant threat for the Cadiz defenders. Rodrigo as well. He too on the other side was causing a lot of trouble. There was a shirt pull which could have been a penalty but probably the ball got away from Rodrigo a bit and that prevented the referee from putting much thought while making that decision. But finally a penalty drought did come to an end through Vinicius Jr. It was like the first penalty that we had won in ages. You really have to think hard when we got the last penalty. And here I have a question for you. Do let me know when Real Madrid last won a penalty before Vinicius. But talking about the penalty, Benzema kept a calm head there, he stepped up to take the penalty, and that was a high quality penalty from the hitman. He hits it low, he hits it hard, and although the keeper did get a hand to it, the pace made it almost impossible to keep it out. What we also noticed was that Nacho, apart from doing his defensive duties, whenever he had spaces ahead of him, he was not afraid of carrying the ball forward. He had the role of making those surprise runs into the final third of the pitch, and we saw him doing this a number of times. He used to be unmarked, it used to leave the Cadiz players completely bewildered, and that is how Nacho played a crucial role in getting the second goal. He carries the ball forward and passes it to Marcelo. Marcelo was closed down by the defender, the ball was then won by Nacho who passes it to Benzema, and then Benzema put in a perfectly weighted cross at the far post. Ardria Zola was waiting there and he hits it through the legs of the keeper into the back of the net. He made a 2-0 and Real Madrid were in complete control. Soon Benzema also got his brace and heading into half time, the game was almost buried. The football that Real Madrid displayed was very good at times, at times the passing was crisp. The movement of the players made it difficult for Cadiz and as Zidane said in the post-match press conference, the energy that the player displayed, that made a difference in the first half. And yes, Cadiz did start the half in a decent manner. In the first 20-25 minutes, Cadiz were going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Real Madrid. They were matching the intensity, they were physical, they stuck to the game plan. Have a look at the picture here. Defensively, they set up in the 4-4-2 and in the initial stages, they made it very difficult for Benzema to get a touch of the ball. But once the floodgates opened, once Real Madrid got the first goal, Cadiz could not withstand the quality of Real Madrid. They took control of proceedings and Cadiz never looked like coming back from there. In fact, I had friends leaving the match after 45 minutes 
minutes because they thought that there was no chance Cadiz were going to do a comeback in the second half. And that is exactly what we saw. We can say that the second half was all about game management. Cadiz couldn't really do much. Thibaut Courtois, he would be very happy after having a very quiet night. And the three goal lead also allowed Zidane to give players some rest. I would even go on to say that at times it got a bit boring in the second half, but credit to the players. It was another well-deserved three points. Real Madrid were never unfazed and we march on in the quest of the 35th La Liga title. So that's how the game unfolded and that's what I thought about the match. And now, let's conclude this video by hearing what Zidane had to say in his post-match press conference. Zidane first analyzed the performance of the team as he said, it was really important to start well when you go 3-0 up at half time. You can manage the game differently and that's what we did. It was a good win, a convincing performance, we played seriously and I'm pleased for all the players. It was another three points and tomorrow we can rest because we play on Saturday. Then Zidane was asked for his thoughts on the formation he used in the game but Zidane emphasized that it was not about the formation but rather it was more about the energy. He said we played with three at the back and two more attacking wingbacks in Marcelo and Andrea Zola. It worked really well for us, everyone can have their own views of the formation but what's important for us is how we attack and defend. We defended well today, we haven't conceded a goal for three games and that's pleasing for me. And then obviously Zidane was asked about the hero of the night, he was asked for the thoughts on the performance of Karim Benzema. He said, I'm delighted with how he's performing, we know how important he is to our game and not just because of his goals. He makes the guys around him play, we enjoy watching him and I hope Real Madrid can continue enjoying him for a very long time. And last but not the least, Zidane was asked for some injury updates on Luka Modric. Zidane replied, he felt something in his back but I don't think it's anything serious. We'll see how he feels tomorrow and I hope he can be back with us straight away. And that's good to hear that Modric should be back in the team very soon. He has been a pivotal part of Zidane's setup this season and recently we also heard from Mr. Florentino Perez that Real Madrid and Modric have an agreement in place for extension. Now we don't have much details regarding the contract but what we do know is that we will be having the pleasure of watching the maestro for one more year and who knows if he keeps going like this, Real Madrid may add one more year to his contract as well. So we congratulate Modric for the completely deserved contract extension and tomorrow ladies and gentlemen we will be reacting to the recent interview of Mr. Perez with El Laguaro. He claimed that the Super League is not dead and he said many more things that we'll be talking about in the next video. So that is all I have in this post-match analysis. Do let me know what did you think about the performance of Real Madrid against Cadiz? Which player impressed you the most? Write in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Till then take Care. Glory to Madrid, and as always, a la Madrid.